James Harden, the guy with the huge beard on his face. He also is a team hopper as well. This is Sports Guy Talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about where James Harden will play next season as he has more than likely played his final game with the 76ers. With James Harden turning 34 years old by the start of the next season, his NBA career may be coming to a close sooner rather than later. However, there are teams interested in trading for James Harden if the price is right. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is, who will end up trading for James Harden? And honestly, there's only a short list of teams that would potentially be interested in James Harden, that James Harden would be interested in joining because James Harden is not for everyone and not everyone is for James Harden when I talk about James Harden man he's a great individual player he knows how to do the step back game really well he can shoot the three ball well he can be a facilitator he can play make he can pass the ball well he can run the pick and roll operation really efficiently as well but James Harden one thing that he has missing in his career is a ring he's won an MVP he's got a lot of accolades he's put up great individual numbers but the one thing that James Harden does not have in his NBA career is a championship and if you you're James Harden, you want to go ahead and win that championship now because the way that he's seeing his career, he probably thinks that he only has three to four more years left in his NBA career. Unless you're telling me that James Harden is going to be playing basketball at age 40 and beyond. Unless you're LeBron James or Steph Curry or someone like that, yeah, I have high doubts that's going to happen. James Harden is a great player though and he knows that. So James Harden knows that he has to go ahead and try to get on a good team. However, here's my problem with James Harden. You've already requested a trade. Not once, not twice, but three three times already. You think about the time where he requested a trade to go to Philly to team up with Joel Embiid when he was on the Brooklyn Nets. He broke up the big three just so he could try to team up with Embiid and he was trying to ring chase and he didn't even get a conference finals appearance out of that. And then when he requested a trade from the Houston Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets, you also think about the fact how James Harden, his excuse was he didn't want to waste his career in Houston, which is a valid excuse considering how awful the Houston Rockets have been in the last three seasons. However, he tried to request a trade and become a drama queen about it and try to act like a diva in his way into forcing his way into Brooklyn that is that ended up not working at all the big three of Kevin Durant Kyrie Irving and James Harden that failed miserably James Harden was a no show in the playoffs for the Brooklyn Nets the one year they did play in the playoffs for them when he didn't play for them he was injured all the time and he missed time due to action and I can understand why a lot of people don't like James Harden it's because of the fact that James Harden does nothing but flop all game long and the fact that he tries to get the those cheap fouls called on opposing defenders where he can get free throws where he's an excellent free throw shooter it just feels like James Harden just dummies down the game so I can understand why people hate James Harden for that and I do think James Harden is a great individual player but I also understand that James Harden he's not going to be remembered as an all-time great he may be remembered as a guy that put up great individual stats but he's not going to be remembered as this top 20 player in NBA history he might be remembered as a top 50 player but he's not going to be a top 20 player all the time even if he does win a championship because James Harden is not a great defender. He's not necessarily a guy that relies his game on athleticism. He just was a guy that relied on the referees making the favorable calls where he could live at the free throw line and where he had a deadly step back jump. I will give James Harden credit for that though. But when you talk about teams that are going to be interested in training for James Harden, here are the five teams that I got in my mind that could be in the running to trade for James Harden. And honestly, only about two of them are actual contenders to get James Harden. You're thinking about the Los Angeles Clippers, the New York Knicks, the Houston Rockets, the Miami Heat, and a door course candidate that I have in my mind mind is the New Orleans Pelicans and I say the New Orleans Pelicans because the New Orleans Pelicans are trying to make a splash this offseason they're trying to elevate themselves into playoff contention they're on the cusp of it they just need another piece or two so they could potentially operate a CJ McCollum and some picks for James Harden in order to become a playoff team I'm not saying they should go ahead and do that but if the New Orleans Pelicans want to make the playoffs this year they might want to think about doing that so I'm thinking about how the New Orleans Pelicans they could be a potential option in all this chaos involving James Harden oh yeah and before I go on with my next point I also want to talk about the other time where James Harden requested a trade that was when he requested a trade from the OKC Thunder to the Houston Rockets but honestly that's because the Thunder owner was too cheap to pay him an extra four million dollars so I'll give James Harden a pass on that so technically it's two times but if you want to count it maybe three times point is James Harden has requested a trade way too often he changes teams like changing clothes on your body every single day he just changes teams way too often but when I talk about 
where James Harden is going to get traded to. There are some candidates that stand out more than others. Like I said, the Dark Horse candidate is the New Orleans Pelicans, but I don't expect that to happen. Although, if a weird trade did happen, I would not be surprised if the New Orleans Pelicans are involved in that. The other four teams that are in the running for James Harden, they could potentially get him, but two of those teams don't really got a good shot at it. I'm thinking about how the Miami Heat, they could potentially go for James Harden if the situation is right for them. But I don't know if James Harden is going to fit in into Heat culture because James Harden is not necessarily a basketball first player. He is a brand first player. He also loves to go to strip clubs all the time. In Miami, they got a lot of good strip clubs over there in that city. And James Harden, he's going to get distracted from basketball because he's going to be crashing over at the strip club on a daily basis if he goes to the Miami Heat. And if he crashes to a strip club in Miami, that's going to be much harder for him to win a championship. It's already hard enough for James Harden to win a championship without the strip clubs in mind. With James Harden in a strip club city, that's going to be even more difficult. And that's just going to be too difficult for James Harden. And if James Harden is smart and knows what he's doing he knows that the miami heat is not a good fit for him to go to and then of course there's the houston rockets even though they're not anywhere near title contention they're looking to make a splash this offseason and they're looking to be relevant sooner rather than later and james harden he has a connection with the city of houston maybe he could reunite with the city of houston if he so wishes to go there however i don't think that's going to happen now if james harden were a free agent i would feel a lot more confident about the houston rockets pulling that off but because he opted into his contract i don't see how the houston rockets are going to have the assets to trade for James Harden and add another star in free agency. I mean, maybe if they trade for James Harden and sign a bunch of decent free agents on the free agency market, maybe they could pull that off. But I don't even think that's necessarily a smart move for the Houston Rockets to make. So really, it comes down to two teams that could be in the running for James Harden, the Los Angeles Clippers and the New York Knicks. I was thinking about the New York Knicks being serious contenders to land James Harden because they have the assets, they have the draft picks, they have young talent on the roster, and they do need another co-star to Jalen Brunson. And if James Harden goes to the New York Knicks, that could certainly make the New York Knicks an interesting team to talk about and also raise the popularity of the New York Knicks since James Harden is a marketable star but the New York Knicks are not going to go ahead and trade for James Harden because of the fact that they don't feel like James Harden is going to elevate them into title contention and the Knicks they can't afford to blow up this young core for a veteran guy that is probably going to bail on them within one year so to me that leaves the Los Angeles Clippers as the team that will end up trading for James Harden the Los Angeles Clippers can afford to take that risk because they are nearing the end of the Kawhi Leonard Paul George era so they need to go all in and try to win a championship because they invested so much into that duel if they can add James Harden as the third wheel that's going to help them out in the long term potentially and even if it doesn't work out they get to clear up a bunch of cap space with getting rid of Paul George James Harden and possibly trying to move off Kawhi Leonard so the Los Angeles Clippers could be able to get into a quick rebuild or a retool depending how you want to say it if they go ahead and trade for James Harden it doesn't work out but if it does work out then the Los Angeles Clippers could become title contenders and you think about the big three in involving Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and James Harden. That's going to be a pretty good big three to have. Also, the fact that Russell Westbrook is going to be the number four scoring option if the Los Angeles Clippers could somehow find a way to retain Russell Westbrook in free agency. Because remember, Russell Westbrook played pretty well for the Clippers last year. The Clippers went to five games against the Suns, and they probably don't get to five games if it weren't for how great Russell Westbrook was. Russell Westbrook was not the reason why they lost in the first round. He usually is the reason why his team's choking the playoffs, but not last year. Last year, Russell Westbrook stepped up big time for the Los Angeles Clippers. So if you're the Clippers, if you can manage to find the core of Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook, that could potentially work. Although I will say that James Harden and Russell Westbrook have already been on the same team, not once, but twice. And they ended up breaking up parts. So who knows how good that's going to end up being. But I think the Clippers are going to end up trading for James Harden because they have the least to lose because right now they're on the verge of having to blow everything up. So if they trade for James Harden, maybe they can go all in for one year. And if it doesn't work out, hey, at least they can clear cap space and try to start a rebuild i think that the clippers have the least amount to lose in terms of training for james Harden, and they also have good amounts to give to the philadelphia 76ers i mean the clippers they can give up terrence mann norman powell rob covington nicholas patoom and two future first round picks in order to get james Harden and pj tucker if they could get that that would be solved for them because the clippers would have a lineup of Kawhi leonard paul george zubach at the center position james Harden at the shooting guard position and possibly russell westbrook if they could manage to get him back on a reduced deal somehow some way and then you think about their bench of marcus morris senior pj tucker maybe add some free agents at the center and shooting guard position 
rotation and they got Bones Highland coming off the bench. That's a solid rotation for the Clippers. Do I think they can win a title with that group? No, but I think they would be a better team than they were without it. That's where I'm seeing this going with the Clippers. Now, if you're the 76ers, obviously you're going to like this deal because you get Tobias Harris, Nicholas Batum, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, and Terrence Mann in the starting lineup. That's a solid starting lineup in the East. That might even be one of the better starting lineups in the Eastern Conference. And then you think about the bench of Jalen McDaniels, Robert Covington, Paul Reed, Norman Powell, and maybe sign a free agent point guard at the back of point guard position. That's a solid rotation. Combined with the fact that they already got Nick Nurse as the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers, the 76ers are going to be a better team if they trade James Horn and get some depth pieces in return. And as for the Los Angeles Clippers, now they can fully go all in with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and try to chase that elusive championship that has been missing from this Clippers core that was supposed to bring a championship, but clearly they haven't done so. So that is why the Clippers will end up trading for James Harden. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and that Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.